Hey, welcome back, everybody. As we dive into our new series called AI Identity, um, I just want to talk about a show that we might know where people aren't living or sharing that true identity with another person. You might have seen this show. It's called Catfishing. If you haven't heard of the term or seen the show, it's about two people who meet online. One person is real and authentic about who they are and what they love and what their hobbies are. And the other person has a fake profile picture. The other person lies about other things. And then they become involved in a relationship together. And in the show, what they do is they reveal the person who's been lying to the other person. You know, <clears throat> I feel like some of us can kind of relate to this in the way that we we act around our friends compared to how we act around our family or the way that we act at school compared to the way that we act at football practice or cheerleading practice or maybe the way that we act at work compared to the way that we act at school. And we can have different masks in different situations and it's because we were – maybe we carry some sort of – Shame. Maybe we're ashamed of who we are, what we truly like. Maybe someone's put us down for those things before in life. I know it happened to me. You know, there was things that I liked and hobbies that I wanted to get into, but I didn't do it or pursue them because I felt like my friends would think they were lame or they'd make fun of me. I didn't share my emotions or my hurt. I just shoved them down because I didn't want to be viewed as weak. Um, and that, that, that made me wear masks in my life. And I had a different mask for when I was with the homies compared to when I was with my mom and my family uh, or even at school. And I would take these masks and put them on and wear these false identities around. You know, God calls us to live into who he says we are. And he says that we are greatly loved children of God, that we are created in his image, that we are messengers of the Lord, that we are of a priesthood. That we are set apart. So I really want you guys to, to find somebody in your life that, that you can share those truths with about who you are. I don't want you to go through life living a false identity and not really living into who God created you to be for a purpose and for a reason. He loves you and he created you special. You know, a very wise tomato from Veggie Tales once said, God loves you very much and he made you special. So remember those words, find someone in your life that you trust to share where you're struggling at with your identity and remember what God says is true about you, that you're special and he loves you very much. I'll see you guys next week.